Cal Poly football is up north this week in Cheney, Washington, taking on the Eastern Washington Eagles in a homecoming matchup for head coach Paul Wolf, who served as head coach for eight seasons and an assistant coach for six seasons. Last season, the Mustangs fell 17 to 10 to the Eagles and have not earned a victory against them. Since 2005, Cal Poly is coming off of a bye week after getting a win against Northern Colorado and are looking for their second straight win. Opening kickoff, the Eagles will have possession and begin this game. The kick in the back of the end zone and the ball finds Michael Wortham. He is not taking a knee. Instead, he's going to run this one out and it is because he trusts his guys up front and he has every right to untouched and no Mustang in sight up until the 50 yard line. He's brought down inside at the 20. Next play. Tuna Altu here gets the handoff. He takes off to his left and he finds the end zone. 17 seconds into this game. Cal Poly now in possession. First quarter, Sam Heward sitting in the pocket and he does not see it coming. Heward fumbles the ball as he is sacked at the 35. Jaron Banks with the scoop and the Eagles are in possession at the Cal Poly 30 yard line. First and 10, same drive. This time it is Justice Jackson with the 19 yard rushing touchdown and the Eagles go up 14 nothing early in the first quarter under five now on the clock the Eagles punting to the Mustangs and oh that one slipped that bad snap earns Cal Poly a safety and the Mustangs have two on the board that torrential downpour on that turf I do not want to be playing in those conditions but it could be snowing Mustangs still looking for their first score on offense and it's not coming on this drive he were hit by the train that is Isaiah Perez Cade Shenick with the interception return for a touchdown that ball had no chance of finding a receiver, just a blown assignment up front. Heward pays the price. Heward trying to get a rhythm going in his home state, still looking for their first scoring drive of the game, and he connects with Michael Briscoe in the corner, ruled initially to be out of bounds, but after a timeout and a review of the play, Briscoe managed to get that left toe in bounds. But it is Eastern Washington who kept piling it on from there. The Eagles defeated the Mustangs Saturday afternoon, 48 to 13, some positives. Cal Poly. Cal Poly's run game collected more than 100 yards for the second straight game. Jacob Jones and Jamari Jackson also had career high 11 tackles each. Cal Poly heads to Sacramento State next.